chapter five, two exercises. Okay, again, all of these things are things that any person with a conscience can understand how to handle without doing Jesus, God, church, and Bible. Even the fix the world thing. Somebody can say we're speaking good energy over everybody in the world through conscience, right? Okay. And even, even the person that doesn't do Jesus, God, church, and Bible can do something to make their fix the world thing special. I mean, you know, I don't go up for incense and, and sage and all that kind of stuff. But something as a reminder, something as a reminder, lighting a candle, putting the fabric over your shoulders, this is a making, some, making it special thing. It's like a little kid heart thing. Okay, we're going to go and bless the whole world. Let's make it special. I think the fabric should be first because it's spoken of in the word. And it's kind of a fun thing. And you can use it to bless each person. Each person is being touched by the fabric in your house. I like it, I like it, I like it. You can actually stitch up a stick signature fabric for your house. So anyway, all right. Number five, it's two exercises. Number one, thank you time. And number two, the self-control exercise the Kegel exercise and the breathing. The self-control exercise, the Kegel exercise. And we can go into a long discourse on both of them. The thank you time is a combination of praying and singing in the spirit, but it is written. If you're speaking in a tongue, you speak mysteries and you speak to God. But if you speak in real words that people understand, you're edifying, you're strengthening people. So here's what we do. We pray and sing in the spirit and we blend it with little childlike thank you shouts. Thank you for dolphins. And thank you for marshmallows. And thank you for peanut butter. And thank you for my bike when I was five years old. And thank you for this and thank you for that. And when you hear something that makes you smile, you can throw another thing on time, on top. Yeah. Thank you for dolphins, and thank you for surf, surfboards, and thank you for camping trips, and thank you for my tent. So thank you time is when you all get together and you just shout positive things. And I'm telling you, we have had miracles, miracles happen to people's hearts just because we're all being goofy and thankful and we're not complaining about nothing. I've literally seen supernatural transformations come in. And the people who pray and sing in the spirit mix it up and the other people get used to hearing people praying and singing in spirit and they don't have a negative attitude towards that. So those are the two habits. The other habit is, listen, we are all single people. And even when you're married, sometimes you feel kind of single. And you gotta understand that some people are actually locked up in jail cells. Some people have to sit in a classroom and they can't be snuggling with their loved one. Some people have to work and work and work and they're in bitter slaving work and they don't get to like lie around with their lovey-dovey and make out and kiss. So you think about all those people and we, you realize, hi God, we're all single, we're all little children before you. <coughs> and then you do your Kegel exercises together, everybody together, in a mama papa way. And you say, okay, you count to five one thousand. You draw up on your stop peeing muscle. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. And you know, the mom or pop, you say pull. And you pull up for five counts. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. And then you release for five. Rest for five. And then pull for five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you rest for five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you pull for five. One, two, three, four, five. 
Now, you could do that for five minutes, you could do that for 15 minutes, or you could do that for whatever, seven rounds, something like that. You could figure out how many rounds you want to do. But that is the way that you say, listen, they take out, they take out a child into the field when the child is a toddler and they show them how to pee and stop peeing. You can be just like mommy and daddy. Pee and then pull up and stop peeing and then let it go again and pull up and stop peeing and then let it go again. And someday if you're married, you can use that same muscle and you can enjoy one another. You can enjoy yourself for longer because that's actually how you quiet down and you stay together. And that's a part of the description of how wonderful the marriage bed is. As children, we should be taught in a simple description, oh, it feels so wonderful, and you're eye to eye, and you feel so happy, and you know, you can feel that your body is making your friends so satisfied, but you don't know exactly what their body feels like. And they are feeling totally satisfied by you, but they don't exactly know what your body feels like, and it's so wonderful. And if you do your Kegel exercises, you can actually keep going for longer, and it feels really nice. And, you know, we can continue the story of the, you know, walking single or having a marriage bed. But the main thing is it is written in Song of Songs. Do not awaken love, passion, desire until it is time. And so that's why we talk about things and we tell children that you can either walk single like Jesus for a lifetime and be part of the single people's power ministry, or you can have a marriage bed. But if you have a marriage bed, you're going to be fostering children. You're going to be sheltering people. You're going to be a communion group home. And the man of the house is actually going to be trained to be a shepherd, a pastor, and a caring one of, for the fathers. And so those two exercises of a happy thank you time and if you're in the Holy Spirit, blended with Holy Spirit, but primarily thank yous, and also doing the Kegel exercises, maybe in the morning, maybe in the evening, maybe one in the morning, maybe one in the evening. And those five things are things that anybody, a non-religious person, can do. Then we move on to chapter 6, which is beginning to go into the Jesus, God, Church, and Bible proofs and truths. But all those other things are things that a person of conscience can do and their children can be raised in much more safety and power, especially being honest about our crap and being watchful of how we can get caught on our devices. Everybody can get caught on their devices. Mommy's like, you know, I love antique cars and history things and I can get caught in watching videos of antique cars and history things and not be taking care of my business. So that's the first five chapters.